6 11. Ian Lockhart at 6 8 will jump it up at center court. Tennessee 1 and 1 on the year from the Southeastern Conference. East Tennessee 1 and 0 from the Southern Conference. Play some pretty good basketball in that league. Greg Dennis gets the tap. Marty Storty controls, and the Buccaneers work it offensively. Tennessee opens in a man to man. This is Alvin West all the way. No good. Tennessee got the rebound. Ronnie Reese gets the board. And East Tennessee also opens in a man to man. Down low, Allen Houston fouled inside. And the foul is going to be against East Tennessee State. It's either Marty Story or Keith Jennings, and it will be on Marty Story. That will be his first and also the first team foul in the game for East Tennessee. Nice offensive pattern by Tennessee, trying to take advantage of the height that they have a mismatch there as far as Houston is concerned. Allen Houston had a pretty good game against Austin P with 17 points to lead Tennessee, but had only one against Memphis State. He gets that on this trip to the free throw line, and it's 1 0 Tennessee. Houston misses this one. Mr. Jennings at 5-7 gets the rebound. Calvin Talford. Jennings with a fake. West. Greg Dennis. All the way for an easy layup. But a charge. It's going to count. And the foul is on Greg Dennis. Dennis gets the personal foul. Quickly two on East Tennessee. And the Bucks, however, have a 2 on lead. It's a nice offensive play on the side. He made a move left and went right. Just an easy layup. Tennessee did a good job drawing the charge. Tennessee with the basketball. Allen Houston guarded by Keith Jennings. And a near steal by Alvin West, who's all over Greg Bell. Groves, the freshman, getting the start tonight for Tennessee. 13 on the shot clock. Good job defensively by East Tennessee. Here's Bell for three. Nice three-point basket. Tennessee showed a little more patience with its offense in its half-court game. Calvin Telford, who had 27 in his team's first game. Marty Story with a power layup. Houston shot rejected by Dennis. East Tennessee with the ball. Here come the Buccaneers. Jennings with a nice fake. Beautiful feed to Story. Slept out of his hands on a nice play by Carlos Groves. And then a foul on Greg Dennis. And quickly in the first two minutes of the basketball game, Greg Dennis has two fouls. And that's going to be a factor in the ball game. East Tennessee State has to have him. Here we see the penetration. Good pass off. Going up for the shot, blocked away. Great play by Carlos Groves for Tennessee defensively. And Chad Keller will check in for the Buccaneers as Dennis has two fouls. Ronnie Reese out high with it. His jumper short. May have forced that. Groves stripped of the ball by Jennings. Buccaneers run. Four on two. Talford missed the layup. Story is there to follow. Story with four, and the Bucks have six. Tennessee not getting back quickly enough with their defense. Allowing State the easy fast break. Allen Houston. Bell lost the ball. Picked up by West. West with a layup. Good. And the Bucks lead by four. Here we see the thing that State did with the starting the smaller lineup. They're going with the tight man-to-man -man pressure, trying to take Tennessee out of its half-court game. Keith Jennings at 5-7 will pick your pocket if you're not careful. But Houston is doing the wise thing, A.W. He's posting up down low. There was the mismatch. Lockhart misses. Groves lost it out of bounds. Nice play by Greg Dennis, who will sit down now, and Chad Keller will come in for him. Dennis with two fouls. Dennis. 
16-45 to go in the first half. Buccaneers with a four-point lead of the ball. Here's Keller with it. Hardy Story off balance. Nice feed to Keller, but a foul against Tennessee's Carlos Groves. That will be Groves' first foul, and also the first foul on Tennessee this half. Nice offensive pattern that State ran. They're running somewhat, I guess, what we call the motion offense. Here we see the replay. Uh, we catch the tail end where the, the pass is made, and then the foul is committed before the pass. Buccaneers will play it in underneath Marty Story, making the inbound pass. Keith Jennings at 5'7". They call him Mr. That's his nickname. From three, and the Buccaneers are out by it. seven at 11 to four. Last year, the Buccaneers had four players who hit better than 40% of their three point shots. Great feed, Greg Bell to Lockhart. Nice penetration. The first time Tennessee's been able to penetrate and be able to kick the ball off. 11 to six, your score. East Tennessee with a five point advantage. Chad Keller with it. Jennings will put it up from three and miss. Rebound by Lockhart. Lockhart with 24 against Memphis State. Came after he had 16 against Austin P. Three-pointer by Bell is no good. Marty Story from three. Off the glass. Fifteen, seventeen to go in the first half. Lockhart's basket ended a nine-nothing run by East Tennessee State. Lockhart powers it up and in. Lockhart with four, and Tennessee is within three now at eleven to eight. Talford, yes, great shooters. East Tennessee State has got great three-point shooters, as, as many as I've seen on one ball club. That one almost a three, not quite. Greg Bell with a three. Not a lot of motion to either offense. They're just putting it up from anywhere. Marty Story with it now for the Bucks. Talford scooted a pivot foot around the floor. Floor mistake gives it back to Tennessee. And with that, we're going to take a timeout. 14, 35 to go. When we come back, Tennessee will have the ball and East Tennessee with a two-point lead. We'll be right back. 